Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Roski. Your teachers are collecting assignments on Google Classroom. Um, instead of taking a picture of an assignment that you're in pencil, such as a math assignment or a workbook page, um, instead of taking a picture of that, it's better to take a PDF. Um, and I'm going to show you how to take a PDF using a app called the Adobe Scan. You can find it in the App Store or in your Google um, Play Store, but it's called Adobe Scan. And I'm going to show you quickly how to use it to take a picture and then send it to um, your Google Drive and attach it to your Google Classroom assignment. So first of all, you'll need to make sure that the Google Drive is also on this device that you're taking the picture with. Then you can just transfer it easily to your Google Drive. So download the Google Drive, sign in with your email, and then you're going to have um, to sign in with Google through your Adobe Scan app as well. You can sign in there um, so that everything's with your same email for your school. When you are holding now your scanner, which is your phone or your device, your iPad, over your document, um, if you hold it steady, it will take a picture on its own after it puts blue dots around it. If you want to kind of hurry up the process, you can take um, a picture with a circle to show that you just want to hurry and take the picture. But I would just wait for Adobe to take the picture itself. Um, it ends up showing you a blue border around it. You can change that border by dragging those drops. Um, the blue circles until you're happy with where the edges of your um, document are, then you're going to hit continue in the bottom right corner. Um, you can then adjust borders after each scan. You can hit OK on that. Um, but basically, when you're done scanning, the scans will show up in your bottom right corner. In this case, I just did one scan. You can continue and take two or three scans if you have more than one in a document. But when you're done, you're going to hit those little scans in the bottom right corner to show that you're ready to export them. And then I also like to go to the little color app in the middle at the bottom um, to kind of adjust. You can try auto color or grayscale or whiteboard. But you can try and see which one looks the best with the printing that you've used. And then the second step on this page is to go to the top right and hit save as a PDF. The next step is to share it. Um, you can share it right away, or you can go, first of all, to those little dots that say more, and you can rename the assignment with like your student name and maybe the assignment number on it. This is a good place to name your document. Um, notice I put mine as Jolene Math number 18. Then you're going to go to that little share square with the arrow. And on your next page, it will say, who do you want to share it with? And you're going to choose share a copy down at the bottom. Where do you want to share it? And you might have to scroll over to find your Google Drive app. Just scroll through your apps there at the bottom, find your Google Drive, show which folder it's going to be in. I put that it's in my drive. And then the button on top there says upload on that last thing up here. Now, how are you going to get it from your Google Drive into Google Classroom? I opened up a Google Classroom assignment. I can see all my work under the classwork area and I'm going to choose number 21 the germ worksheet to attach it there so when I open up germ worksheet there's a little place that says view more about the assignment that first box is just kind of a preview of what the assignment is but if I want to actually attach things and see more about the assignment I go to view assignment and then on that box it'll say your work on the top right and you can do the add or create button that's where i'm going to add something from my google drive so it looks like this it says where do you want to add it from i say from my google drive and then on the next page it'll say where in your google drive and i usually choose recent because it'll show my pdf that i just uploaded so in this case i can see my pdf that i made up of spreadsheet once I click on it, it will highlight it darker in blue, and that'll make my add button at the bottom come to life and I can click add. So now I can see that my PDF is attached and I can do the last step, which is to hit the blue button that says turn in and your PDF is ready to be sent to your teacher. Bravo, you're done.